believe that, then let's follow Christ and let's love our enemy. Amen. That was such a radical thing. I mean, I couldn't believe it. You know, there's one thing to like read it, say it out loud. It's a completely different thing to do it. You know, somebody says, you know, love your enemy. Bless those that, that you know, that curse you. It's like, he said, hey, congregation, church, let's do this. So he invited a mayor of a city in Indonesia to come to the church. A mayor, his entire town was wiped out. This, this man's own young son was in his hands as a wave crashed into him and ripped his son from his hands and took the life of his son. I can't even imagine the trauma of this man. And the pastor invited this man, a mayor of a town, to come to our church. And he took up an offering for him. He said, what do you need? He said, we, we need to rebuild. Our entire town was wiped out. He said, okay, we're going to take up an offering for you. They took up an offering. I don't remember how much it was, but they raised a, a crap load of money and gave it to him. And, and he basically graciously said, you know, just said thank you and, and stood up before the church and was crying. And he said, I'm a Muslim. And I can't believe that Christians would show me this type of love. Amen. And I believe that that's exactly what Jesus was talking about. When he said, the world will know that we're his disciples by the way that we love. By the way that we love one another. By the way that we love our neighbor as ourselves. I believe that's exactly what he's talking about. So I decided, man, I'm going to love, I'm going to love somebody like that. So I, I went to a Compassion International table to sponsor a child and I picked a child from Indonesia. And I started sponsoring this kid, writing letters back and forth. And my wife and I, we had the opportunity two weeks ago to fly to Indonesia, a freaking long way away, about 24 hour flight to get there. We got to meet this child, go into his home, meet his mother and his father in this Muslim home and pray to the Lord Jesus to bless his home, to bless his family. We all were crying by the time we left. Mom was crying, dad was crying, son was crying, sister was crying, everybody crying. Let me tell you something. Jesus knows what he's talking about in John chapter 10, 10, where he says this. He says, the thief has come to steal, kill, and destroy your life, but I have come to give you life, to give you a real life, to give you an abundant life. And if you follow me, I'll show you the way to do it. I know, man, sometimes you read the Bible and there's things you just like to skim over. Things like love your enemy. Things like forgive those. Forgive. Man, let me tell you something. Drugs are bad. Having sex outside of marriage is bad. But I'll tell you something a thousand times worse is bitterness inside of your heart. Unforgiveness inside of your heart. We pass over it. We look at it like it's no big deal. We think it's nothing. It's worse. It'll kill you. It'll destroy you. It'll absolutely ruin your life. But Jesus says, I want you to follow me. Get in step with me. Watch what I do. He said, I'm not just going to tell you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. With arms stretched out and nailed to a cross. He said, watch this. I'm going to be the example. He says these words, Father, forgive them. Father, forgive them. That is the man. That is the God that I want to serve, that I want to follow. And I don't follow him perfectly. i got to be honest. But tonight, I want to encourage us all, men, to lift up our hands right now, to give him our heart, to give him everything. Because his way is life. I know when everybody else is partying on the weekends, sometimes it's tough to say no. I know when your girlfriend is saying, it's okay, I love you, we love each other. It's hard to say no, man. It's difficult to turn away and say no. But today I want us to just make up our mind that nobody else is going to have our heart except for Jesus Christ. And we're not gonna have any other gods before him. We're not gonna serve anybody else before him. We're gonna rip down every other idol that's ever been in our life. Rip it down and put it behind us and make Jesus Christ the Lord of our life. Come on, will you pray with me right now? Come on, lift up your hands, everybody out here. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we make up our minds tonight to follow you. We make up our minds to give you our heart that we'll have no other gods but you. Lord, forgive us of our sins. May today be a fresh start. Lord, use us. May we shine. May we burn for you. May you fill us with the Holy Spirit. God, that the fire that is burning inside of us, people will know that it is not us, that it is God, eternal, sovereign, living God, living inside of us. Lord, change us tonight. Use us for your glory. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thanks for listening to me tonight, Indiana. This song's called After the World.